So when we started Thornley Kellen 12 years ago, um, I often thought of my dad who trained as an engineer, starting as a body and paint shop. We built the business up and we spent that 12 years building a reputation, building great cars, but always in the back of my mind, I wanted us to be a world-class engineering facility. As soon as I met the guys at Race Techniques, Andy and Mike, I knew we can offer our clients now a truly world-class engine building facility. The Dyna is a Superflow 902 uh, water brake capable of handling 1500 horsepower continuously uh, with a thousand foot-pounds of torque. Uh, the room is specified to run up to 1500 horsepower. We have airflow capability to sustain that amount of power if needs be. Um, on, on here we just have a little 1293 FIA historic engine which has been developed for a customer. So the, the engine is run dynamically, we don't do static testing. Uh, we set the engine on, a, uh, on an acceleration rate and measure it dynamically as if it's in the car. Um, as you can see here, we've got a, a screen which shows RPM, uh, live engine torque, live engine power, the air fuel ratio of the engine, temperature within the dyno cell, and the barometric pressure along with water temperature and oil. When we run the engine, which is controlled by this console, then the result will be displayed on a graph. Uh, some of the engines we've run on here have been very diverse. So we've gone from a tiny 550cc V twin Aprilia for a quad bike that came over from the United Arab Emirates. Uh, to be dynoed right the way through superbike engines, hill climb engines, and at the top of the tree was an ex Michael Schumacher uh, Cosworth HB Formula One V8 engine, which we pulled to 12,000 RPM and it sounded absolutely glorious. So I think it's fair to say that this dyno has seen its fair share of engines over the years. So in this area, we strip um, and inspect and clean all the engines um, before they're taken into the clean area. Depending on the engine's use, so for racing or whatever, we then move on to looking at the rules that may apply to uh, that racing class. So that, that may include uh, the ability to redesign a crankshaft, um, to port a cylinder head, to have um, pistons made, valves made, collets made, and various other things. So all of these things are assessed depending on the job that is required. Our workshop facility, it includes three vertical milling machines, three centre lathes, two capstan lathes, cylindrical and surface grinder, a sturdy cylinder head seat and guide machining, and also a speed home. Types of work we do include cylinder block and cylinder head machining, brake disc, brake drum skimming, and also parts for tracking, suspension, and um, running gear also. Uh, this is uh, an XYZ 4000. Um, this machine has uh, a large bed on it so you can machine up to a meter in the x-axis and 400 millimeters in the y-axis. Here we have a proto track lathe. This is um, a, a CNC machining center. Um, you can do all sorts of things, profiling, uh, boring, turning, threading. So there's a line that repeats in one of uh, my favourite movies, um, if we build it they will come. As we come to the end of what has been an interesting year, 
and we've invested in building this facility. We hope in the coming months and years we will see you here.